Oh. Let's head on. I had said this before. Daniel in California, you are on with yes. Dennis and Matt. Hi, how are you guys doing? Just Great. fine. Uh, so I called because I want to talk about uh, flood mechanics and how modern science is starting to prove that the flood happened. Oh, boy. Yeah, modern science is not starting to prove that the flood, yeah. flood not a global flood. Uh, very much so, a global flood. Then explain the cultures that survived it? Yeah, they didn't seem to notice the flood. Yeah. Uh, well, we know our genealogy has been uh, found to come uh, from a few thousand families from that area where the ark had landed. We don't know where the ark had landed. Right. You have no evidence have no that idea. there was an ark. Where the ark believed to have landed. Oh, okay, um, I don't give a shit where the ark was I, believed I, to I, land. I, Somebody finds that every couple of years. Prove there was an ark. I'm here to prove there was a flood. Okay. Um, okay. Then we have, we have pine trees nine thousand years old. W when was this flood? Uh, nine thousand years ago. Uh, <laughs> we have clonal tree colonies older than that. The, There's trees older it than does not work. Huh? There's trees older than nine thousand years old. Yes. That I'm not sure about, but I tell you where you can find your answers. Uh, if you go to Talk Origins, there's an index to creationist claims, and I was just going to pull it up to look because here's the thing: uh, not a scientist, not a flood expert, don't have any expertise in the area, so I would have to rely on those people. You think that about 9,000 years ago there was a flood, and that science is confirming this. What new findings of science do we have that that support the notion that there was a global flood about 9,000 years ago? Uh, just to start, I want to say that I'm a non-denominational Christian. Most of my views don't uh, follow the norms of most uh, beliefs. How is that remotely relevant to the scientific findings related to a flood? I just wanted to edit before. Uh, the findings would be like, uh, I'm sorry if I'm butchering her name. Is it Marie Schreider, the one who Wait. found the malleable proteins in the T-Rex fossil? I have no idea. Uh, well, I forget her name, but they found malleable proteins in the fossil, which they know can only live roughly 5,000 years, give or take a couple Wait, thousand Wait, you, you think dinosaurs existed, nine to five, what, 5,000 years ago? Uh, th their estimation was roughly 5,000 years, but it could give or take a couple thousand years. I believe dinosaurs died in the flood. I believe the flood included the extinction of the dinosaurs. It included asteroids, uh, the creation of plate tectonics, uh, and possibly... Uh, a collision between the Milky Way galaxy and one of its satellites, satellite systems. Okay, in the interest of honesty, I have to say, no, the oldest tree alive is 4,500 yeah. years old. I, I thought 9,000 was a bit much. I was, but I, 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 I stopped wrong. there. Um, un unfortunately, Daniel's no longer with us uh, on the show and oh. potentially in reality. Oh. Um, Here's the thing. Much like the other caller who wanted to try to call to prove that Jesus was a fiction yeah. invented, blah, 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 blah. As soon as you start saying modern science is proving a global flood, and then you try to date dinosaurs to five to 9,000 years ago. No. Um, not going to work. Yeah, if, if you think humans and dinosaurs ever walked the earth together, uh, The Flintstones is not a fucking documentary. Right. And no credible scientist on the planet supported by any evidence would hold that that's the case. But it was everything. It was, this happened, you know, 9,000 years ago and men and dinosaurs cohabitated and then the Milky Way galaxy collided with one of its, and I'm like, holy crap. I, I hit my limit for... Right. First of all, I don't have the relative expertise to debunk all that, but you can go to talkorigins.org where at least the passingly sensible claims that we can address have been addressed in the index to creationist claims. But that said, it's interesting that someone would call up and say, oh, I think this. I'm more concerned with why. And if you think, so, so science isn't a person. Sci right. Science isn't a thing. It's not a cabal. 
Uh, science originally just meant knowledge, and so the things we describe as scientific findings are tentative, they are based on the best evidence, and they have to be falsifiable. Um, and the, I'm not appealing in any fallacious sense to authorities, because it's only fallacious if you say it's true because they said it's true, or if you appeal to an insufficient authority. When we're talking about scientific experts and the data, it's not fallacious to say these are the findings of science. Right. Because we're not saying it's true. But if you think you're going to turn all of science on its head and date dinosaurs yeah. to 9,000 years ago, do not call this show. Submit your paper and earn your Nobel Prize. Submit your paper for peer research. Go after the actual experts. This tell if you call in to say this is what science is saying, <laughs> and it's not in scientific papers or magazines, is definitely right. I know everything I need to know that you're calling the atheist experience to offer your take on the fundamental facts of reality and how it flies in the face of what everybody else who actually knows and understands and studies this stuff believes. Because you're calling to talk to me and you're calling to talk to Dennis and neither one of us are geologists. We're not biologists. Right. We're not historians. We're not astrophysicists. And all that shit has to be wrong for you to be right. Yeah. It's funny because, you know, if you want to argue against evolution, okay. Uh, oh, evolution can't make predictions. Actually, it can and it does. It does. Which is how we found Tiktaalik. Because we said, if it is the case that species morph over time, mm -hmm. and if our understanding of both the genetic and the fossil record are such that this creature existed at roughly this time frame in this layer of rock, right. and now there's a modern antecedent, then at some point in, in between there, or a descendant, not antecedent, yeah. at some point in between there, we should find a creature that is somewhere along that transition. And they found a spot where the rocks were of that age yeah. and where we had a good enough understanding of what the environment would have been like in that area of the earth in that time frame. And they dug and they found Tiktaalik. Exactly what we predicted we should be able to find. Now, it's interesting because there's no guarantee we were going to find that because yeah. a creature becoming Fossils are fossilized rare. is rare. Uh, it also could be that Somebody had made a mistake about how much time there was or what this mm -hmm. creature would have looked like or where we, where we were. Maybe we have another. Countless mistakes would have had to been made uh, in order for us to go there and expect to see something and not. Right. But not seeing it doesn't mean we're wrong. But if you see it, that's a pretty good indication that all the things <laughs> that led you. Yeah. To that, it would be like saying, you know what, if my model of the solar system is correct then we should be able to land on Mars, go to this location on Mars, dig a hole, and not only find uh, remnants of, of water, but possibly an underwater civilization of living beings. And no matter how preposterous that sounds, if we go there and dig and find that, then the things that led you to that are more we likely to, to be correct to <laughs> than not. <laughs> yeah. You might as well be calling in to say oh. the devil goes around planting bones to confuse us. And I would like to add, an 80,000-year-old colony of quaking aspen is the oldest known clonal tree located in Utah. 80,000 years. Somehow it survived the Great Flood. Well, you know, that tree can survive a flood. Trees like water. I guess so. And, you know, people, people will do this. Oh, well, how did this, the fresh water and the, and the, and the salt water things both survive when it's all muddled up. Well, as it turns out, God magicked it to happen. Or Magic? Okay. Well, that solves everything. Or the water, when you, when you have that much water, uh -huh. it dilutes the saline content yeah. so that some of them can just like barely survive for a couple months that needed more oh, salt, okay. and the ones that needed less salt can barely survive. Barely survive, so yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, no. can, you can ad hoc and post hoc any explanation you want. Right. But don't call in to, to think you're going to present the science that overturns the flood. Go get the Nobel Prize. Go to the Templeton Foundation. I'm sure they'd, you know, if it's, if it's any good, a pro-Christian organization that's trying to constantly find ways to debunk 
uh, or debunk the the atheists and the seculars yeah. and show support evidential support for uh, their supernatural claims. Um, Surely they would be interested in someone. Oh yeah, definitely. The flood happened nine thousand years ago. Apologies.